today I'm going to be showing you how to play the Imperial March from Star Wars on GarageBand. It was written by John Williams and I really like John Williams because even though his music is really big and expansive, when it's pared down to its simplest part, and this is a really simple tutorial, uh, it's still recognizable. I think John Williams is probably the most hummed composer in history. So let's get right into it. If you have any comments or questions about this, you can leave them down below. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a very simplified version of the song on GarageBand's musical typing tool, which if you don't know how to use, you can check out the previous video I made where I gave a tutorial about how to play piano through GarageBand. The important thing to remember is that the musical typing tool is modeled after the arrangement of a piano keyboard. So you just want to ignore the computer keyboard letters. The note letters aren't going to match with the computer keyboard letters. It can feel a little complicated and if you can't figure out or memorize the note letter placement right now, that's okay. You can just follow along for this song and the understanding of the note letter placement uh, will come later. So this is what we're going to learn. And if you check it out, you can see that there are notes and finger numbers. So you can use this as a reference. So these different note values indicate the different rhythms. And even if you can't read the note values, you probably already know the rhythm to the Imperial March. It goes bum, 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 bum. Uh, that's a very simplified way of kind of learning it. But just by listening to that thing that everybody knows, you already know that the bum, bum, bum part is faster and the end bum is held a little longer. So uh, I won't get into specifics of how these note values match up to that rhythm bum 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 but if you want to learn the technical terms for these note values and how they exactly work you can check out our other music theory videos okay let's go through the first part and let's translate the notes to the melody bum 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 becomes e e e c g e c g e so let's translate that onto the musical typing keyboard so let's find C first because that's where our first finger will go if you pay attention to these finger numbers. Okay, and let's practice the melody. E, 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 C, G, E, C, G, E. Okay, so you can pause the video here and practice and move on when you've got it. All right, so part two, you move up the piano a bit and you find the higher G. That's where your first finger is gonna go. The next part is gonna be B, 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 C, G, E flat. So you gotta move down to the E flat here and then C, G, E. So B, 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 C, G, E flat. C, G, E. So pause and practice that. That one's a little bit harder because you have to move around a little bit. All right, now let's try the whole thing together. Okay, now that you've got this, you can play a little snippet of the Imperial March. I know it's not the whole song, it's not very much of it even, but it is probably enough to get you sued for copyright infringement, so that's a good place to start. Well, there you go, simple as that. If you like this video, you could subscribe to our channel for more like it, or if you're interested in taking some proper piano courses, you can check out libertyparkmusic.com. We have beginner, intermediate, advanced courses from really talented piano teachers there. So uh, share, like, give to a friend, and may the fourth be with you.